so there's a number of companies on the internet that sell salt-free water conditioners or salt-free water softener alternatives. And I'm glad to report that over the last 10 years, we've gradually eradicated the name salt-free softeners. Only, only the people that really try to be deceptive are using that term anymore because there is no such thing as a salt-free water softener. There are salt-free water softener alternatives and there are salt-free water conditioners. They condition the water, but they don't soften the water. Some people have challenged me and said, well, what difference does it make? Well, there's a big difference and I'm going to demonstrate the difference because I have three vials here today. This is ordinary tap water, came right out of the faucet, not treated. This is water through our Green Wave salt-free conditioner or salt-free water softener alternative. And this is water that is through a ion exchange water softener that regenerates with salt. And I just want you to understand the difference because we don't call what this does the same as what this does. There's a difference and I want you to understand the difference. Lots of people are looking to go salt free and we do have a salt free system called the Green Wave. But we want you to understand what the differences are so that you can make an informed decision. We're not going to try to baffle you with a bunch of things that aren't true. We're just gonna tell you the truth. So what I'm going to do here today, I've got these three beakers of water. This is some pure liquid soap. There's no phosphates or conditioners or anything like that in here. It's just pure liquid soap. And I'm going to show you the difference of how tap water, water through the green wave, and water um, for, through a water softener react. And then you make the decision. I'm going to put five drops in here. One, two, three, four, five. And just for the sake of comparison, let's say this, is, this represents how much water your family uses a day. This is 300 gallons of water right here. And every drop of this soap is a dollar. How about we just compare it like that? So I put $5 in here. I'm gonna put another $5 in here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put $5 in here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So here's the tap water and I'm going to shake up the tap water and really didn't get much sense. I'm going to take the water through the green wave. I'm going to shake it up. I've got a little bit of suds, but not a lot. And I'm going to take the soft water and shake it up. And can you see the difference in the suds? Now, as you look at the bottom too, you can see this water is a little more cloudy. And it's because the water hasn't fully emulsified because the hardness minerals don't allow suds to form as readily as soft water. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to add more soap. Let's see how much more soap we have to add. One, two, three, four, five more dollars worth of soap. So that's $10 versus five dollars. And I'm starting to get a little bit of suds there, but we're not there yet. One, two, three, four, five. That's $15 to five dollars. That's three times as much soap. And we're still not there. So let's go with another five. One, two, three, four, five. That's 20 drops or $20 to $5. And now we're getting some soap. We're getting some suds. Now you can still look at the bottom though and you can see how clear this is because the soap is fully emulsified whereas here it hasn't completely emulsified. Let's go back to the hard water, the tap water, and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 15 drops or dollars. And we're not even close. Let's add another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and we'll shake it up. And we still don't have enough. That's uh, that's 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So that's $35 to $5. And now we've got some soap. Now, you can see it's not as much soap, but we got a little bit of soap there. Um, but you can see how these, st these suds stay where the other ones don't stay. All this cloudiness is dissolved, undissolved soap. You have to overwhelm the hardness of the water with soap in order to get the same suds you do with soft water. So we just want people to understand that while a water softener will save you the most on soap of any condition of any product out there, the Green Wave is close second. It's about four times as much soap, whereas regular tap water is about seven times as much soap. Now, you're not going to measure with an eyedropper like I do and you're not going to be as precision as I was with this. So we tell people, look, you're probably going to save 50% on soap. That's a good round number. We just want you to understand when you buy the Green Wave, you're not buying a water softener. You're buying a conditioner that is going to help in sudsing of soaps and things like that. It'll also help a little bit with uh, cleaning your shower walls and things like that but the hardness minerals are still in the water, okay? And if you're simply not wanting to have a water softener or to use salt, then this is a great solution for you. We use the NAC media, which means nucleation assisted crystallization. There's also TAC media, which is very similar, called template assisted crystallization. We happen to like the SP3 NAC media better, but hey, they're very similar. Most of the companies that are using uh, salt-free conditioners or salt-free water softener alternatives are using a very similar product. Uh, just so you understand, we want you to fully comprehend that what it does and if you're okay with that, then the Green Wave may be exactly what you need. If you do have a water softener, make sure that it's adequate sized. If you've settled you want a water softener because right here I've got some hard tap water and you see how the suds have stayed and stayed but if you get a water softener and it's too small and it doesn't deliver 100% soft water, watch what happens when I put a little bit of shot of hard water in here. It totally kills the effect. So if you're going to have a water softener, make sure it's adequately sized to soften the water. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, one of our certified water specialists would be happy to answer it.